welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. My friend Billy told me I have to mix up all my interference pigments and then top it off with a really thick Lamp Black by M. Graham and Company cell activator. So I just wanted to show you all my interference and then show you how I mix them up. So we have Ball Gown, which is a gold interference. I love interference so much. They add such a depth. Here we have Sequins, which is a kind of pinky violet interference. Then we have Comet, something I use a lot. I think they say it's red, but it is also pretty deep pink, which I love. Then we have Pinot Gris, which is a green interference. You'll be able to see it on a black pillow more. Uh, Macaw, which is their new one, which is a kind of a blue to gold interference, but in the middle, there's a bit of green that comes. So it's, you're kind of getting three colors on that one. And here we have Velvet, one of my faves. It's kind of blue interference, but it is kind of purplish too, which I love. And here we have a Twinkle, which is violet. Love it as well. And then we have Glisten. It is kind of like greenish, but also purplish maybe. I use this a lot. Well, let's go see how I mix it, but I hope you like, look at my piggy drawer. Ooh, these are my fave from Fluid Art Company, this little piggy, TLP. All right, I got my six cups ready. I got my Joe Sonia gloss varnish. I'm gonna put a little bloop into each cup, kind of like I'm doing shots, but I don't actually drink, so, but let's pretend. <laughs> All right, so I don't measure. You don't need a lot of pigment, but it depends the colors you're using, especially interference. You don't need to use as much because the powder's fine, finer. This is the Pinot Gris, okay? I'm opening it slowly away from me. Oh, I think this is a new one anyways. When, I, when I'm gonna take this off, I'm really gonna open it far away. You really should be using a mask. You'll see, I don't know if you can see the powders kind of come up. So you wanna keep this away from your face. Look at this. So I'm gonna take a little bit, because I mix a lot, I do put a little bit more because these are four ounce cups. You can see right away, I don't know if you can see in the light, the green that comes out. And I mix slowly. So the powders don't come flying up. Then I add more of my pouring medium, which is Bare 8300. And what I do in a little cup is I put it in there and it's a little gloopy. So I add a little bit more Josonia. I pour it right in and I thin or thicken as needed. So let's continue. We got the Pinot Gris. Next, we have Comet. I thought I would speed up this process because it's just about the same mix, mix, mix. Add my bear with a little bit of Josonia. And from there, if something needs to be thinned, I add a little bit of more Josonia. And that's about it. Easy peasy. I know this part is super boring, so I guess I'll fill it with some talking. Um, my pillow is Sherwin-Williams Color to Go Tricorn Black. They're not making it anymore. In the States, you can use um, Color Place Onyx. In Canada, I'm still doing tests. It's kind of hard because the Glidden's Tinted Black aren't great, but I'll keep you guys posted on that. And you see I'm just adding more, mixing, 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 and that's what happens. All right, it's almost time for the swipe. Okay, I changed my mind. I was going to do a bloom and then I just did a bloom and then I coughed and I ruined the whole thing. Um, so let's try again. We're doing a blue with this super thick cell activator. Now we don't need too much pillow paint down. All right, now, you notice I put a little bit of pillow paint because if I get small cells, I don't want to stretch them out too much, you know? 
I mean, I could do a little spin, oh, I just put a lot of paint. I could do a little spin swipe on here if I wanted, couldn't I? So I haven't decided, am I doing a bloom or a quick little swin, swin swipe, spin swipe with this thick cell activator? You know what, let's try, okay, I'm not saying spin swipe anymore, but let's try it. And I just put down different layers. I don't know which, I put which. This looks like twinkle maybe on top. Doesn't matter. Because what I'm gonna do, this might be on oh, sturdy already. Uh, I'm going to take my petal palette knife, which is filthy and I have to clean. Looks like this from, oops, fluidart.co. Excuse me for a moment. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer that thick cell activator. Now, actually, I have two cell activators. I have one that I made like super mud, like, it's so thick. Do I even have enough of it? It's like super mud. You know what? I'm going to use it. This was literally two blueberries of the paint, the Lamp Black by M. Graham, and a dash of Aussie Floetrol, okay? And it's like, it. it's almost like two... It is the two paint. It's like just a little thinner, okay? There's just a dash in here. I'm gonna load my palette knife with it if I have enough. And I'm gonna do it and spin it out and see if we get those tiny, teeny tiny cells. So look, I'm like slathering it on. It does just feel like a thin two paint. It definitely doesn't drizzle. It doesn't do anything. All right. And Maybe I'll get a little bit more just in case, although I probably won't need this whole thing covered, but just in case, you never know. Because what I'm gonna do for the spin swipe is put my tip down and pull towards me. Okay, you ready? And there she is. Look at the universe just popping up. I don't even want to spin it that much. Look at these tiny, teeny, tiny cells. And there you have it. Pretty cool. Now, there's like this part here I don't love. It's just like a black line. I'm gonna wait till it continues to form, but I'm not even gonna to touch it that much. Um, like, the problem is I always like futz around with it, but like, what would I do with this line? I don't want to mess it up. Let's pretend that I'm like, no, I'm not even gonna do it. Forget it. All right, well, here she is. Really cute, teeny tiny little cells. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you would think. I'm gonna show you close up in a minute. Bye.